How many of you guys out there have smashed your drones? Well, stay tuned because that is exactly what we're trying to do on purpose with this drone right here. Actually, even better, full speed into this. Oh, I thought you were going to say full speed in the gun. Nah. <laughs> into this solid piece of timber. All right, we'll see if we can break it. Do you reckon we're going to break the uh, the front oh, of this quad? I reckon gun is more solid. Than okay, that. anyway, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Let's roll this. G'day, you absolute legend. Stu from UAV Futures here. I hope you're having a fantastic day and well, what we're doing today, it's going to be a little bit unorthodox. We are checking out the CF100s. I'm going to link them down below. They're kind of from Adam RC. These are for the micro boys and girls who like to go exploring, flying around. It's on analog. And we're going to try and break these. So how many of you guys out there actually think, I don't want to break my drone. I want to have something that's robust that's going to hold up. It's going to protect my components. Well, we're going to find out just how well does this do it. Because you can see if I put it in the roof shot right there, it is looking a little bit different. Very blingy as well. So we're going to out of the field. We're going to fly it around. We'll see what GT thinks. I'll show you my impressions. And then we're going to be smashing it into stuff. We're going to take it up into the air. We're going to be disarming it, dropping it down, trying to break this and finding out just how well does it hold up. And spoiler alert, it was kind of uh, pretty shocking, actually. So stay tuned. What we'll do first, we're going to put it on the bench, look at the techs and the specs, and then we'll go have some fun. So uh, very quickly, as an overview, you can see I've got a HD version here. I've got my standard CF100 right here. They're both from Adam RC, which I believe is a subsidiary. Subsidiary. That's a tricky word to say. I believe their sister company might be Skyzone. But uh, the only difference really between these two is that we have an onboard sort of like a CADX recorder thing in here. If you're interested in doing some HD recording as well, well, uh, I'd be getting the HD version. But mainly today, we're just going to be looking at the the standard version without the recording capabilities. Just trying to smash it, just seeing how well does this frame actually hold up. So, you can see if we look at the frame, it is uh, a fairly small little quad cop. It's got some tiny little tri-blade props on here. But the big thing you'll notice, it is a very low profile quad that you take out of the box. You fly it around on like a 3S 450 battery, but it is very, very well protected. I mean, this thing right here, it has some strange material around the outside, and I do think that it's actually metal, but uh, it's like a weird metal, plasticky mix. I know that doesn't even make sense because I can't understand it either because um, it's not fragile like plastic. It's actually, we did end up bending it and we're able to bend it back, which uh, I'm not too sure <laughs> what it is right there. It's very, very light. Let's stick it on some scales as well, wherever they are. I've lost one. Oh, let's go. Thank you very much. RS7 driver, I hope you appreciate the shirt as well. It's coming in at 108 grams. The HD version, I think it's about 100, 117 then. So about 10 grams heavier. Um, and this bad boy, uh, it's just, it's got some strange graffiti pattern on it, but the main part is it protects your components so well. So actually, the specifics of what we have inside, if we look at the components outside of the frame, you can see we just got some tiny little tri-blade props. I think they're 1105 motors, 5000 K, 1105, uh, they are 5000 KV. Uh, moving towards the middle, we've just got our normal F405 stack, it's rock and beta flight, it's got 15 amp ESCs in there. We didn't have any problems. If you are new to the FPV space, you're new to flying analog drones, just know, it works, it works well. Uh, it's got a 300 milliwatt of VTX in there, which means you're gonna get some decent range, especially for something on a little micro size like this. And of course, a little CADEX cam at the front, and what I really like is it is very well protected. You're gonna get very unlucky uh, if you happen to break this thing because I think it's one of the best protected quads I've seen in quite some time. Little dipole antenna towards the back. And that's about it. I've got a standard uh, XM Plus receiver in mine. Actually, I did have that taped down, but I need to probably uh, zip tie that down. But yeah, all in all, it's a pretty fancy a little quad, some standard sort of stuff. What we're talking about with the design, I think I like it. It's got one job, and that is exploring and protecting its components, and it does that in spades. It's very, very good for that. Uh, the quality of the thing, Adam RC makes one of the best uh, drones I have ever flown in toothpick size. You can see that little review that pops up there. And this thing, it doesn't quite fly as well as that, but the quality and for what it wants to do, uh, I've got no qualms whatsoever. And then uh, talking about the pros and the cons. Pros, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. You can do exploring and flying this thing places that uh, you normally wouldn't fly some other non-protected drones. It's not going to be for you digital people out there at all. It's, it's way too small for that. And it's also not gonna really be suited for carrying a GoPro or anything. If you did want the HD version, you still have this version with the uh, CF100 HD. And the other part, I think the price is fairly reasonable as well. So all in all, I've gotta say, I thought this thing was 
actually not going to fly as well as it did. Um, it's quite interesting out in the field, so you're going to have to stay tuned for the rest of that video. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But i got to admit, when I first took this out of the box, I thought it looked very gimmicky. But after flying it, it definitely changed my tune, which is a wonderful thing to have happen on this channel. To still be surprised and impressed about drones, you know, it just goes to show I don't know everything. Years later, after flying hundreds of them, well, you can still be pleasantly surprised. So let's do it now. Let's get out of the field, fly it around, show some impressions with the grumpy bugger himself, show you my impression, show you some footage, and then most importantly, let's try and break this thing and you be the judge if it's something you'd like to get. So let's do it in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field, the little atomic bad boy we're gonna fly it around see what it's like show you some dvr it's very shiny the perfect day actually cruise around the in-laws we got gt you even got gunner in the background we're gonna see what gt thinks of this show you his impressions all that sort of stuff but let's do it have some fun and show you some dvr of this thing from atomic rc in three two one boop. Radio, here we are, and I want to say when we fly binoculars flies like this, one of the things that I think is really important is I don't mess with any of the settings, I don't mess with the tune or the OSD, because I want to show you exactly what it's like if you're just an everyday Joe who buys this drone, what experience are you going to get out of the box? I can't stress that enough, and I'm happy to say the PIDs felt great, it felt great on the sticks, we're even doing a tiny little bit of acro there, which is not really what these quads are made for, but you can do some flippy floppies, rolls and flips if you wanted to. But one thing I definitely would change, and lucky it takes about two seconds, is this OSD. They haven't even changed the craft name right there, so you could put, you know, you sort of need your handle or something down there. And also, uh, get rid of those uh, horizon bars and those sorts of things on the side that is taken up uh, valuable real estate on your screen. You don't need them at all. This is not the sort of craft that needs those parts on the OSD. So if this was yours and you do have one, please change that. Now, uh, let's talk about it. We've got our 300 milliwatt VTX in here, getting a little bit of flicker when we're going behind some of the the denser trees. It was a little bit of, I guess, rain in the air, but not not too bad. Cruising around, the colours I think look very, very nice, and I got to say, it has a fair bit of pop as well. So it's got uh, a little bit of speed if you want to take this. And where this really shines is not only is it size, but also it is made for exploring. So you're not going to take this racing or anything like that. But if you've got a small park and you're just cruising around, you're going to have a great time with this. It really was a blast, and it was pleasantly surprising to fly. I thought it'd feel a lot heavier than it did. Um, you're going to be just having an awesome time if you want to take it out to a park, a small playground. You probably could even fly this thing around indoors. I think I have a little stack right there. We had to, I was lucky it didn't fall in the pond. And then here we go with a bit of take two. Not even a fresh battery on there. Still kept the same battery plugged in. But yeah, all in all, it's a great fun Explorer quad that has plenty of pop for its little size. Look, it's not going to be any racer or crazy thing like that. It's got stability mode, acro mode. Here, I think I've flicked it into uh, self-level mode. I did actually find that harder to fly. I do prefer acro for sure. But I think for the price as well, it's just a fun little drone you can cruise around with, have some fun, protect your components. And uh, it's you're going to see it's very, very robust actually so let's hand it over to grumpy trev uh, see what he thinks as well you can see here doing some very very slow cruising so if you wanted to fly this indoors uh yep you definitely could do that but let's hand it over to the grumpy bugger and see what he thinks as well and uh, i think he even changes his mind here we go doing some real exploring through the garden right there let's see what grumpy trev thinks as well Radio uh, GT. So uh, the actual name is the CF100 from Sky Zone or Atomic RC. But here it is. Uh, and what are you doing with that screwdriver in your hand, mate? What well, are you doing? Well, I don't know whether this is um, plastic. I reckon it's plastic. It is too. It's plastic. It is. Jeez. It's strong. We were trying to crush yeah, like it. Yeah, like you can't even press it in. It's really strong plastic. I wonder how that's going to go if we drop it out of the sky and smash it. Maybe that's what we should do. Disarm and land on the concrete and find out what happens. Yeah. It's... Do you reckon it'll break? Oh, I don't know. It's... Oh. Okay. We're getting... Look, it's got a lot of bling on it. Yep. Um, it's well, well, I'm surprised. It's well put together, but uh, it seems a bit heavy. All so right. um, Run three and four S. Yeah, well, that, you know, it says a pusher, so... All right. Ready to rip it around? Yeah, we'll fun? give it a go. Okay. I'm, uh, I don't think we're going to be... I'm not too excited about it, but uh, All right. Maybe we'll you could be surprised. Maybe could be let down. Maybe. Let's find out. All right. Is that radio on? Um, oh, you turned no. it off on me, Stuart. The radio's not on. <laughs> Gives me a radio, it's not even on. Yeah, sorry. All right, here we go. Is it responding? Up, no, up all the way. Oh. There you go. And it's in self-level mode to start you off. Oh. Oh. 
shit, it's gutless. Well, it is. It can run a 3S or a 4S, I should say. So we've got it on a 3S at the moment. What about if this was indoors? Oh, I'll tell you a sec. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Yeah, it'd probably be right indoors. Are you crashing it already, Trevor? No, I'm still flying. Where the hell am I? <laughs> God. This is that Trevor was trying to drive here. Where do I go? Oh, here do we I are. Now I know here? where I am. Shit. All right, do you want me to put it in acro mode? All right, watch, uh, watch Trevor crash. You ready? We're yeah, going to acro go, mode. Go, go. Oh, what? that's better. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, I, I didn't like it in self-level, to be no, honest. No, I don't either. Now, that's that's actually not bad. Oh, shit, it's, a new, it's like flying it on the quad. Why'd you make me fight in self-level mode? You wanted to start it like that just to test it. I just wanted to see if any good in bloody proximity, but that was really shit. Actually, this is... Is it easier in acro? It, it doesn't feel heavy anymore. It really felt heavy uh, in self-level mode. Yep. I'm really surprised how well it's flying. Why do you say that? Well, it was... I was watching you fly it. It might have been just your crappy flying, but uh, you made it look really heavy. But... Yeah. What's the camera like? The yeah, camera's good. It's this thing. Uh, I'm actually I'm a bit gobsmacked because it's uh, it flies pretty good. Okay, so we're changing your mind. Start in self level. You said no. Now turn it into acro mode. You're enjoying it. And it can go faster if you put a 4S on there. Let's see if you can get under there without clipping anything. Man, I don't believe that. You're not that good of a pilot. Actually, I'm quite enjoying this. Besides all the bling, I mean, it looks, it's really blingy. I don't know why anyone would want to design something that looks so ugly, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't really like all the colours and stuff either. But really, uh, it's uh, pretty damn impressive. Oh, oh, oh. Right, it recovers, look at that. No worries, Zach. Just as well, it's got those little thingos on it. Do you reckon they're going to break? Let's, we're going to test it? Well, I do. I'm going to test it. I'm going to fly it up and drop it. Look, I'll run in the gunner and see what happens. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't trust that one. I don't think it's as safe. All right. Yeah. So, and what do you think for about 150 bucks? Oh, well, look, I don't think it's bad. It flies surprisingly good. Are you going to go and purchase one? No. Okay. I don't like it that much. All right. Uh, performance out of 10? Uh, I'd give it a 7. Yep. That's probably how what I was thinking as well. And uh, value for money? Uh, 150 bucks for that value. Uh, well, look, probably probably about a 7 again. Yep. Yep. I agree. Yeah. When I mean, you think you can spend 50 bucks more and you get like a 5-inch NAS oh, or something? Yeah, I just tested it. Yep. It just, the battery just went... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, I'll, I'll go get it. Hang on. Hold that thought. Yeah, look at save this. There it is. Look. That's smoking. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Final thoughts. Seven out of ten for value. Seven out of ten for performance. Yeah. The uh, CF100 Atomic RC. Look at. What do you reckon? It feels. A, it does feel heavy, but once you go into acro mode, it didn't feel heavy to fly. It sucks to fly it in uh, on stable mode. Um, and you don't, do you like the look of it? Oh, uh, look, <laughs> no, it's a bit blingy for me. Uh, geez, I tell you what, it does look strong. So I, I think, Stu, that you really should... Uh, yeah, we're going to. We're going to yeah. test that now. Right, so here's the plan. We're going to fly it up into the air as high as we can, drop it over the driveway, and see if we can shatter these outside pieces. Do you reckon it's going to break? You're going to fly it up in the air, then you're going to fly it into the ground. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah. You want to power into the ground. I think come down a little bit hard. I, I was just going to kill it. it. I was just. Oh, you nah, want to? That's just going to bounce. Just, you you want me to power not, into the no, ground? Not full power, but at, at, we're not going to try and destroy it. But see if you can handle a a hit that a hit into the ground like a fast hit. Okay. I think that's a better judge rather than dropping it out of the sky. So if it's going to hit, how the are we going to fast hit it into the into the ground though? Well, just. Look, oh, you mean you, you mean just bang, yeah. just powering along yeah. and then just clipping into I something? All right, what about this palm tree? Full speed into the palm yeah, tree. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, all right. Is it going to break or not? Or oh, actually, even better, full speed into this, 
I thought you were going to say full speed in the gutter. <laughs> nah. <laughs> End of this solid piece of timber. All right, we'll see if we can break it. Do you reckon we're going to break the uh, the front oh, of this quad? I reckon gunner's more solid than <laughs> Okay, that. anyway, that's what we're doing. Let's roll this. Fly out as fast as we can into uh, that. I'll probably miss, but we'll see what happens. What, are you going to hit this thing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The kid's swing set. Here we go, Stu. I reckon this is going to really fuck it up. <laughs> it was too high. Oh, was well, it? You didn't film it? I, I didn't get it, no. Oh, bro, that's your oh, job. I got it. That's your job, Trevor. To no, you missed. You hit up here. Yeah, well, you should have been. You could gauge that. Let's have a look. Is it still going to no, spin? No, it's still going to still go. Oh, let's try again then. Yeah, take two. All right, your job, Trevor, is to based on where the yeah, yeah you've got to go up or down. Yeah, do you know right, what I mean? Yeah, Depending yeah. So on just, where it's going to crack. Fucking fly straight there, yeah, right? Still going anyway. I'm just doing a little quick overview here. I want to mention that this is all one take, which is uh, I think pretty impressive. It shows the frame. <laughs> It's only a little skid. Oh, I forgot to record my DVR though. <laughs> oh no, I did it. No, I did it. Alright, no, look at this. Let me try again. Alright. Well, it seemed to survive. Hang on. Alright, let's play. Let's just leave the batteries out of sight. That's fine. Yeah. Look at this. About there? There you go. Where is it? It's gonna oh, land in the pool. Oh, you nearly got a bird on the way down. Where is that? <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> you guys had one job to watch that. Drop it there. Like, yeah. We're never finding that. You. It's over here. Yeah. yeah let's give an amateur a job to do. Look what he does. Hang on, I've no, still got video. Still got video. Just fire it up. Let's see. Nah, it's it's in here somewhere. I was hoping it would hit the road, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I, I think it might have been on there. Here it is. Oh, really? Got it? Yep. Just on top of a snake. Looks all right. All right. But, uh, do we have to do it again? Yeah, I'd do it over here somewhere. Do it on the road. Um, Alright. Okay, I'll look, I'm going to do this line of sight. Yeah, okay? That's a good idea. What do you reckon, Stuart? It's going to be one bit or what? No, mate, I think it'll be absolutely fine. Stronger than what it looks. Want a bit of singing music on the way back? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it ran the right way up. Oh, no, no, it didn't. It's up. Let's see. Oh, we're caught in some grass there. Ugh. Aha! Sheep shit. <laughs> what I'm no let's have a look here. This is that spinning? It is getting this part has been no no no. Is this yeah, so just here, this has been bent. You're gonna have to bend that bend that back. So that was getting caught on the props. So nice panel beat in there, Stuart. Thank you, thank you. You know, could always get a job after UAV future. <laughs> It's typical, that's what he flies all the time. You know? all right, all right. See the scars up Alright, final impressions, <laughs> final impressions. What do you reckon, Trev? Give me this camera. What do you reckon of this uh, thing? Well, I'm impressed now. It didn't break. I mean... Uh, it did bend though. It, yeah, but that's so, alright. Yeah, I guess that's better. It, uh, you could just bend it back. 
anything else, we would have been picking up the pieces by now. So too easy. Bloody strong. Look for a newbie that wants to get into it. I recommend that. A right, bit more durable than we were expecting. Way more. Radio, so there it is. Uh, there is my review of these Atom RC uh, CF100s. And I've got to say, what did you guys think? Because I was pleasantly surprised. I thought, well, what a gimmick. I don't think that's going to fly too well. It handled okay. We got some decent flight times. And most importantly, it protected your components. Like, uh, what's something that protects things? Like, I don't know, an angry alligator? I need a better analogy there. <laughs> It protects your components. Anyway, please give me your best. It protects it like, and then put some analogy down in the comments if you watch this far in the video. Yeah, that'll give me a bit of a chuckle. But on that, subscribe for more FPV related content. Uh, if you hit that bell notification, we're gonna be doing a lot of videos coming up. My Patreon link down below as well. If you did appreciate that this video, well, that is greatly appreciated. And I am very thankful for the patrons that I have. Most importantly, the message I wanna say to you guys out there in the FPV community, be kind to each other and most of all, be kind to yourself. Why? Because you deserve it. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. I don't know why I said it like that. Happy flying. <laughs>